Welcome back everybody. Um, thank you to all those new subscribers and some con comments. Thank you very much. Uh, we're pushing uh, I think it's 1,800 subscribers now and there's um, uh, a lot of thumbs up so um, not that I'm into any of that but um, just a bit of entertainment for me and hopefully for you. Uh, so this is uh, something you don't see very often yet again <laughs> uh, this is an Avondale audio modified name CD3 from way back in the past Move that light out of the way. and um, <clears throat> just thought I'd run over uh, a couple of things of what's going on here of what we used to do back in the day we, we don't tend to do it now but back in the day we did a lot of this uh, and this, uh, I've, I've, unfortunately I had to replace the DAC here's the DAC here which is a Philips TDA 1541A and the old one that came out which was defective uh, was this one which was a Philips TDA 1541 but a single crown S1 uh, but completely defective the thing wouldn't make a noise it, uh, and the symptoms are for many weeks leading up to the, the complete failure of this device uh, there would be crackling you would hear crackling through the speakers and then after five or ten minutes after switch on uh, that crackling would disappear and it would appear you know oh it's fine it's fine and um, that can go on for a year or more I, I had one for two years it used to crack all the time when I switched it on um, that's just the, the the warning sign that this DAC is about to give up. But anyway, um, unfortunately, the camera ran out of battery when I was replacing this, um, and I've actually desoldered it. And I've I've got a suction gun. Um, it's a desoldering station actually. Um, when you take the whole PCB out, you gently turn it over and you can gain access to all the pins there's 14 pins 14 pin device uh, and you just solder suck all the solder out and then i replaced put one of these in which is a dip tip 14 pin and then you can fit the dac straight on uh, to do this I, I had to move this clock now this is interesting really back in the day everybody was re-clocking and this is um uh, a tricord research clock and never connected power supply and back in the day there was oh, what do you mean never connected was well, never actually the supply to the clock is never actually collected to the mains connected to the mains and the way they do this um, is via two capacitors so in effect this circuit charges one capacitor And then that capacitor is switched over to this one on the mains. So this is being charged slowly. And this capacitor, not connected to the mains, is discharging to supply the clock. And then when this gets depleted, it switches over. So that this one, now this one switches over and it's not connected to the mains. And this one supplies the clock. So it's never actually connected to the clock. Um, it sort of it was all the rage back in 2004, 5, 6, whenever. This this is a, a 2004 modification by Avondale. Um, there's lots of other things going on as well. The output caps uh, are uh, were replaced with um, films. The output op amps are upgraded to op <coughs> OPA I think these are these are 627 APs these these are very expensive now these have been replaced as well uh, with uh, linear technologies 1028s very good um, and I think there's a couple of other things uh, all, all the other things this the DAC has been uh, I think it's a one bit now you cut the track underneath and you you take the, the supply from the filter 
uh, and it's a, in effect a one one DAC, one bit DAC. Um, capacitor is replaced. Uh, there's a bit of a choke on the input, and there is also <coughs> a separate supply. There's a separate power supply external. There's no transformer. There's no in effect. There's no AC inside of this device, and there is a separate completely separate box uh, that supplies DC uh, to this device. So the AC is in this box and that's a meter away. Um, whether it's of any benefit, open for debate. I, I think it does make a bit a, a difference. Uh, it's the way a lot of people think. Um, but unfortunately I can't, I didn't, I, my camera didn't record me doing this uh, but there's an overview of the Avondale Audio CD3 from way back when another in effect it's almost a historic document really of what we used to do uh, <clears throat> I might I might take the lid off this and, and, and show you this and uh, I'll be back so here you have uh, the Avondale CD3 external supply um, whacking great transformer uh, to, to run a little tiny CD3 but um, uh, big transformer Scotch key diodes some nice 100 volt uh, long life capacitors I think they're Nick, Nicky Nippon um, very good make yeah nip on come on and uh, the supply the power supply for the whole machine um, is a Avondale VBE multiplier um, very good um, so I'd imagine that runs at about 25 26 volts and then you've got onboard filtration as well um, and capacitors so there's a bit of um, something of interest to some people, or might not be. A bit of entertainment. Um, I'm going to get this back on here now, which goes that way. So there is the Avondale CD3. Um, nothing more than that. <coughs> Hope you find that interesting. Or not, as the case may be. There we go. So, uh, with no further ado, I'll... Uh, put this thing back together together uh, I have tested it it works the uh, CD of tested it. it didn't work before it does work now so a week it might last a year it might last 10 years I really don't know and there's no guarantees with anything so all I've got to do is stick that back down with a bit of pad like that and um, put the cover on jobs are good one. so I've mounted this clock clear it's on a rubber it's on a foam rubber suspension system now uh, double sided sticky tape and it's just lifted clear to give it some air to get some air around here uh, so that it's fine I'd just like to say thank you to Richard you know who you are for supplying me with this um, NOS DAC they're becoming hard to find um, there are non-genuine examples festooned all over the internet uh, ebay has them 300 pounds 200 pounds 70 quid you have no idea what you're actually buying uh, but thankfully a pfm member pinkfish media member uh, richard kindly had one of these which he sold me so that i could get this working very pleased thank you very much indeed to richard so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that see you next time bye